let's get started okay uh guys you're yeah, welcome once again to my tutorial right uh this is actually a forest tutorial not only for forex is for all markets applicable to all markets any market that has buy or sell right so you would do well also just like my culture is to subscribe to this youtube channel you can comment uh comment on it after it has been released then also like then share with your friend with uh, the link to, with your friend to also learn from it and you also do well to join our telegram channel so that you can have access to um all content that uh, we are going to uh, post on the channel. All right, um, uh, this section, I'll be talking about a very important thing. This is actually a very simple strategy that can actually give you 50 to 100 pips in a day, right? If you can actually get the rules right. And this is actually built on everything I've taught, right? If you are, you are, you are new to my, to my channel, Right, you do well to study all the three, uh, forest story that I've done, right? Including the, the forest analysis, right? The weekly analysis, they will really help you to get how to do this analysis and how actually how to get a good tips, right? This is actually one of the method I trade, right? Is actually what I teach to my to my mentorship students, right? But I, I might not be giving out the full details. I mean, the full explanation of everything that we do. But just for your information and actually how you can actually approach the market with this. So that is what I will be sharing with you. Now, I earlier today I said that for you to really understand what I will be discussing in this video, right? You would do well to to see um, the the video on I mean uh, the the section on how to determine the the direction of the market, right? How to determine the direction of the market or understand the direction of the market, right? Which is actually talking about the power of three AMD, right? Accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. Then I also say that you should also see a video on liquidity and trap zones, right? What are trap zones? What are liquidity zones? So this will help you to identify trap zones and liquidity zones, and it will really help you to trade this method effectively right this is this method that i'm going to show you today is actually very similar to the elpc right it's actually very similar to the elpc but not all the rules of the elpc would be followed right and that is actually one advantage of you being in the mentorship class because all those rules will actually be provided for you but today i will just show you a very simple way in following m15 right if you actually want to trade m15 right or you want to trade uh, M30, as the case may be, probably M30 or M15, as the case may be, right? M30 or M15, as the case may be. So we'll be looking at the daily range, right? Daily range and the weekly range, right? The daily range and the weekly range. How do you trade this daily range, right? All right, and um, the weekly range. So the daily range and the weekly range and we are going to be looking at a very very important concept from it right so you should follow me in how i'm going to explain this thing to you now for the daily range what do you need what are the time frame that you need number one um number one you will need the daily time frame right the daily time frame to determine the trend of the market Right, you determine the trend of the market. The daily time frame determine the trend of the market. Number two, you will need the one hour time frame to check the pattern. The one hour time frame to check the pattern. Right, I'm going to show you the pattern that you are to look at. Then you will need M15 for entry. M15, 15 as entry time frame. So in your M15, what you'll be looking out for is the LPC pattern, either the source pattern or the pattern one or the inverse pattern or pattern two as you know it to be. Right, so this is the first thing that you need to consider in the daily range. Then for the weekly range, you will need the weekly time frame, right, to determine the trend. Weekly time frame to determine the trend, right? 
and this is now a function of you understanding market structure right as a thought market structure you can see the video on market structure so market structure this is actually to determine the trend using the market structure number two you are going to use four hour time frame four hour time frame to to look at the pattern right to determine the pattern number three you are going to use 30 minutes time frame for the entry right time frame for the entry now right and the entry will be the lpc pattern just like what i've said now in the video that i actually mentioned and how to determine the trend of the market or the direction of the market i told you that a normal day right in a normal day what will happen the market will first of all consolidate right after consolidating then we want to say manipulation right then distribution right this is actually what i taught you i said this is called accumulation this particular one is called manipulation then this is called distribution right so this is applicable now this particular pattern that you are seeing here you are going to be viewing this on one hour time frame one hour time frame right this particular pattern that i just showed to you right you are going to be seeing that on one hour time frame that shows that uh after you have determined the trend of uh, of the one hour, I mean, of the daily, right? If the daily is telling you that, okay, the trend is now down. So what you'll be looking out for is this pattern. So the market accumulated, after accumulating, then it came up to take out liquidity. You know, the liquidity pool, I mean, the liquidity, liquidity zones that I have, th that I have taught, took out, took out liquidity, then you go to M15 to look for M15 pattern to get the LPC pattern, but this pattern too. Then we have pattern one, right? You can study the video on the patterns of ELPC. I mean, of LPC for you to really get this particular concept right. Are you following me? So the first thing that you need to do is the number one. That's the number one. Determine the trend. After determining the trend, and you already know that okay, the daily is bearish. So I'm going to show you an example of of what I'm explaining. If the daily is bearish, so you go to one hour time frame to look for this pattern. Then you go to 15 minutes time frame after this liquidity graph has been taken, right? Then you look for LPC pattern immediately after this graph has been taken for you to take it. Now, there are rules of liquidity graph. You need to study that video to consider the rules. You know, I told you a particular zone must not be broken with more than how many candles? Two candles. It must not be broken to, with more than two candles. Anything that exceeds that, then it is not a good zone again. Right. It must not be more than two candles, but the best that you can look out for is a week breaking this liquidity zone. Right, a week breaking this liquidity zone, then you can actually consider that as a good zone, as a good trade. Right, please take note of what I'm explaining to you, and then you follow it accordingly. Then, just like what I said, if you are trading this, then it can actually make you to, to get 50 to 100 pips, and even this one, you actually get more than that for a day or for a week, as the case may be, and, you, and what you are looking out for. Now you look for the, this pattern accumulation, then that shows you have actually determined the trend, right? Then after determining the trend, then you see that, okay, um, market accumulated, after accumula uh, the accumulation, then actually came up, take out liquidity. You must ensure that liquidity is actually taken. Now it can be any of the six, I mean, no, not six zones now, probably three zones because we're actually talking about one hour time frame. We are talking about one hour time frame. So the three zones which we actually serve as a liquidity zone will be a swing, a swing high or low, right? Swing high or low, daily high or low, right? Daily high or low, right? Which is actually yesterday's high or yesterday's low. So that's actually the meaning of daily high or low. Yesterday's high, yesterday's low, right? And equal high or low. Now, this is actually what you are going to ensure that you see. Now, you want to see my accumulation manipulation take out take out the eye then distribution now the number three will now be you looking for the m15 pattern right m15 pattern which is actually going to be either of these lpc pattern that you're actually looking out for so when you see this you enter you put your stop loss above this eye above this eye then you can actually take your profit as it gets maybe but you must ensure that the, your trend is actually down that's actually for the daily range. Now, for the weekly range, 
for the weekly range, you determine the trend with a weekly time frame. Then you look for the pattern on four hour time frame, right? You look for the pattern on four hour time frame. Then uh, 30 minutes time frame will be your entry. Now your entry will be this pattern. Now the case, the, 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 the pattern is still the same thing with this, right? The pattern is still the same thing with this. Then um, this particular concept, uh, we have swing high or low. Then it's, instead of daily high or low, this will now be for this particular one now. These are the stuff that you're looking out for. Uh, you are looking for a swing high or low to be taken. Swing high or low, right? Or, or, or then weekly high or low to be taken out, so actually for the weekly range. Then um, you are looking for uh, what again? Um, that's equal I or low to be taken out. You need to understand all these trap zones for you to really trade this effectively. So after you have gotten that, then you can now trade. So you are looking for the pattern immediately after this has been taken. Now, let me take you through the chart. I hope you are writing because this video might not be released on time. All right, just take notes and follow me as I teach. Now, so this is actually the concept you're going to trade and actually very important. For you to really bring all these things together, you need to have understood all the teachings I've actually done, right? The market structure, the patterns, and all those things, you need to understand them very well. And that's actually the essence of me giving you the assignment as for those people that really joined. And for those people in the free mentorship also, uh, I, I believe that uh, they would have actually had knowledge of this. Now, let's, go, let's quickly go to, uh, into the chat and actually say something. I'm going to take questions now. I'm going to take questions when I'm done. Then you can take questions now. We are going to start from the weekly, um, the daily range. So let me, I guess that I should start from, um, let, me, let me use GBP NZD, right? Which is actually the established one that I've actually talked on so I can use it again. Now, the first thing is to establish the trend to know if the trend has been established. Now we have, this is actually a higher high, right? Higher low. I'm starting from this area, this particular area. This is a higher high. I hope you can see Microsoft, right? This is higher high. This is higher low, right? And the market failed to break this high. But unfortunately for this market, market came back and break this low. So this is our higher low before. This area was our higher low. So when market broke this level, this zone now became our lower low right? And this now became our lower high, right? You need to understand market structure, just like what I said. You need to understand market structure for you to really trade in this way. Now, you already know that, okay, the market is now bearish. So I'm going to start from this because this was actually um, not, this has been printed before this particular low was taken out, this particular low was taken out. So I'm going to start from this. So after you have established the trend, you must ensure that this trend has not changed. You know how a trend will, will change. Now, if you don't know, go and study my video on market structure for you to get that. You need to establish the fact that daily is bearish, right? After establishing the fact that daily is bearish, they will already know that daily is bearish. So we want to see the pattern. Now we can start from this area to this area to really see how we would have trade the daily range as the case may be. Now, let's go to one hour time frame. That is where we are going to see the pattern. So, um, I will go to the beginning of where that stuff is for us to really look at trading this concept. Now, the market structure is bearish. So, whatever things I want to trade on this market is to sell this market. Now, uh, let me start from this. So, this is the market, just like what I said, that you, is actually either of any three zones that I've mentioned, right? What are these three zones? We have uh, swing high or low, we have equal high or low, then we have what, daily high or low. Now, looking at this, uh, does this fulfill the criteria? This is actually a swing high. The market broke this high without many candles, with just one candle, right? With just one candle. Can you see that? With just one candle. 
Now, with this just one candle, I'm going to look for my LPC pattern in M15 on this particular level, in this particular area where this market is printed. I might not be able to go into that in details, but it's actually very simple. If I see a closer one, I will show you how you would have actually take your entry there. Now, you look for your M50 pattern when this candle is forming or when it has closed. So that's when you look for it. That's immediately when this structure has been broken. Now you can see accumulation. Can you see this accumulation? Accumulation, manipulation, then we want to see distribution, right? Can you see that you want to see distribution after a low, a high has been taken? Now, in this particular day, you know that daily is bearish. So you are not looking to buy this market until your daily structure has changed, right? You, want, you are not looking to, to buy this market until your daily structure has changed. Now, so this is where you're going to take this trade. I don't know if my pattern would actually allow me to get to this range. I would have showed you the M15. Let me try. Right, I guess it got there. Now you can actually see this is a breaker, this is a source. You took out this eye. Actually, this is not the perfect one, but you can still make use of this. Took out this eye, then break this structure. Market came back to retest this source. This is your entry here. Yeah? Your stop loss, let's say about 20 pips. You know, you are just looking for 50 pips or 100 pips. So this is your 50 pips at least. Then if you are going for one to three, do I encourage you? or advise you to go for one to three. If you have 20 pips as a stop loss, you are just looking for 60 pips as a take profit, one to three risk reward ratio. You can just go for one to three risk reward ratio, or you can go for one to five risk reward ratio, and you are out. That's 100 pips. Then you are out of this trade, as you can see. Then you are looking for another perfect day for you to take this trade again, when this market will present this pattern. Now, the market did not give us any structure, yeah, any structure. The market was going higher. You know you are not going to buy this pair. Right. So when market comes to this area again, I can see the accumulation phase here. Then manipulation take out yesterday's eye. Can you see this? It took out yesterday's eye. After taking out yesterday's eye, you want to see M15 pattern here before the sell, which is actually very, very important. You want to see yesterday's, I want to see M15 pattern here before you sell. No, no, let's go to M15. I might not go to, back to that M15 again. Let's see. Now, this took out liquidity then break this breaker. Can you see that? The market came back to retest the breaker. Can you see this? This is actually a breaker pattern. This is another block. I've taught you how to trade a breaker, right? A breaker, then another block beside the breaker. I've taught you that before. Now, this is the application of what I'm showing you. Market came back, pulled back into this area. Then that's the way you want to be a seller. You want to be a seller here. Your stop loss, let's say 15 pips. Then you are looking for 75 pips for one to five risk reward ratio for you to be out of that market. So you are out of that market. So let's see another one again. This is another day. And you have to ensure you have accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. And your manipulation have to take out AI, right, before you can actually really consider that as a good zone, right? So this looks like accumulation, right? This is actually looks like accumulation, right? Accumulation here. Then we have a swing I. We have a swing I, right? Really have a swing. I actually took it out with a week, right? You can see the drop. You know, this actually, this kind of trading is actually very, very impossible to to actually take a loss, right? Because you are actually trading it with uh, with a very good uh, stuff, right? Right? With 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 the trade on the daily time frame. Daily time is already bearish, and actually trading this in this manner, right? This is actually a very good trading style, as you can see. To call liquidity, then the drop. Let's look at another one. This is another day. This is another day. Then we have accumulation here. This is actually accumulation because it actually did not take out any liquidity. Then we have manipulation, took out yesterday's eye. Can you see this? The best is actually taking out yesterday's eye. Took out yesterday's eye with the week. Then you can see the distribution. Market came back to retest that zone. It did not take it out. Then you can see the drop. Can you see that? Very, very important thing that you must take note of. Very, very important. Then you look out for another one that you will have the pattern. Now, the pattern must be accumulation, manipulation, distribution, right? Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Now, this can also serve accumulation. We have accumulation, manipulation. Took out this ring. Then look out for M15 pattern in this particular area. Then distribution. Can you see that? So this is actually what you'll be looking at. And this is how 
you'll be marking the market. If you actually backtest this, it will be hard for you to actually see a losing trade with this particular stuff here. Very, very hard. Now, this is another one. They accumulated. Check out this eye. How many candles? We just want candle. Can you see that? Then you can see the drop. Can you see the drop? Very, very important thing that you should take note of is this style of trading. Very, very good. Right. So, 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 so. Um, we have another one here. This is actually not a best one, but we have that market accumulating here. It actually took out this eye with how many candles? Right, one, two, it's actually more, right? But you have another one that is being taken out here. Being taken out here with just two candles, then look at the drop. So this is um how to trade it, right? This is another one here. Accumulation, right? Manipulation. Uh, manipulation took out the swing guy. Then look at you can see the drop. So you need to see that just like what I just uh, just as I've said, you are not looking to for any what any selling opportunity in this market. Now let's look at another one. This looks like accumulation. Then this looks like manipulation took out this eye, but this actually did not actually drop as we expected. Now the trend is still down as you can see, and if you really backtest this very well, you might actually not see any losing trade in this and it's not 100 percent so you can likewise see losing trades in it now this is actually for the daily range i've shown you the example let me use another example for um weekly range so first of all you need to establish the trend the trend is down right the trend is down so whatever it is let me take this here Whatever things you want to see in this particular market, you want to see a what? That AMD for you to trade a bearish move. Now, let's go to this chart and see, right? That's actually what I'm going to talk about. Then we close for today. Now, we're just starting from this. We look at what that accumulation, manipulation, and distribution. Can we see any here? We can't see any. Let's go. Let's go. Um, can see yes. Accumulation, manipulation. You need to know how to spot the accumulation. This looks like accumulation, but manipulated to the downside. We are looking the, looking for the one that we manipulate to the upside. Take out a weekly high or a swing high or equal high or low. Not seen anyone. But we manipulate, accumulate, right? This look like a weekly high. Then this looks like accumulation. This one, yeah, yeah. Then market, that's accumulation. Give us manipulation, then distribution. You might have actually seen something like this on my chart. I'm going to use yellow box as the accumulation phase. Then manipulation, use a red line, then the distribution. So. So just like what I said, you are, just, you are just looking for a selling opportunity. This is another one here. Accumulation, manipulation, you swing high, then distribution. Your problem will be how to identify all this liquidity graph. So that is what you have to train yourself to know. So that this doesn't mean that uh, you are not going to have a loss. You surely have accumulation manipulation so you need to train yourself to see it in real time this is one also took out all this eye right as you can see so this is how to trade the daily range and the weekly range as i have shown it here so the pattern must be you looking for a market accumulating manipulated to take out a high then distribution this for yourself for a buy you must actually establish the trend first accumulation manipulation take out a low right then distribution now you are looking for your pattern at the zone at which the market actually took out the accumulation that's where you are looking for the pattern the LPC pattern to trade 
So this is what I would like to share with you. Right, so for the daily range or weekly range, for the daily range or weekly range, and you can actually trade it effectively. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining in today's section. All right, I will leave, uh, for those people that join this section, I will leave the, leave for the opportunity to ask questions. But for those people that will see this video later on the YouTube channel, you will need to join the, uh, the, the section, I mean, the Telegram group, so that anytime we want to hold the webinars again, probably on this concept, again, you can ask your questions. Or you can do the assignment and use that opportunity also to ask me questions on this. All right, thank you for joining in. And uh, just like what I would have said, is that you should subscribe once again, invite many people to join this channel, join our Telegram channel, and also there is a mentorship program that will really help you and even explain this method more to you. Because this particular concept alone, I have more than 10 videos or 12 videos on it, and you have to see, I have more than that on it, and live sessions, and uh, even though we are not treating it currently now in my group, but it's something we are still going to look into it in depth. So this will actually help you to gain a reward of one to three risk reward ratio, one to five, or if you have a PIP target, this can really help you following the trend and actually following the liquidity. So this is what we call a liquidity trading style, and that will really help you so much more. All right, guys, so I will leave the room for question and answer, but uh, until next time, I will see you. Thank you.